Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create contours uh, using uh, Eldas Imagine software. Yeah, first uh, we need to take a georeferenced uh, image. Now let me take a georeferenced uh, topo sheet. You are aware of that the topo sheet, I mean contours which are available in the topographic uh, uh, maps. The contour actually uh, depicts the height information. So now this is one is to 50,000 scale map. So where uh, you get uh, the 20 meter inter in interval contour. So now first you have to make sure that your data is properly uh, georeferenced. Then what you are going to do is you are going to create a new layer on top of this either R coverage or shape file whichever is convenient for you. So better to take a shape file. Now I am going to create a new layer. File, new, say vector layer. Then here in the uh, file subtype you need to choose shape file. Then I have to give the file name here, say contour of 48L13. Yeah, I have given the file name. Now it is asking uh, us to select the uh, shape file type, whether it is a line, point, polygon, or multi point. So you have to take arc shape. And click on the OK. Now you get a tool here, vector tool. Now you can just cross check here in the view arrange layer. You can see in the bottom most layer I have got the georeference image, and on top of that I have a contour layer uh, with this uh, the extension. You can see the dot shp. Now what how to do is how to start the digitization. Before going to start digitization, you can give the some color some visible color for the contour. So now in the vector tool, pa tool palette you have to click here then you get a properties at the vector properties then you go to other give some color give the width I'll say uh, red color and apply and close and close this say no now zoom some area where contour is there. Now this is your contour. Contour. You can see here. Now this is uh, 100 meter, and this is 60 meter. You can. This is a 20 meter internal contour. This is 60, and this is 80, and this is 100. So now you have to digitize all these contours. Now from the vector tool palette, you take this line, and you can start digitizing the contours. So you have to click left mouse button to create a vertex. Then you close here. So this is my first line. Now I can select this. I can make this line smooth. So click here. Now this line is smooth. So with that, uh, there will be more number of vertex. And uh, once you have the more number of vertex, so you are going to have a, a smooth uh, elevation model. So this is the first contour. And I'm going to digitize this 100 meter interval contour. And I have to follow this 100 meter contour like this. And for undo, you can use backspace of the keyboard. So now I'm going to close this and I'm going to contour at here. Close this, select this line, and you can use this smooth. So, like that, uh, you have to digitize each and every contours. But this is definitely time consuming consuming but there is no other way to generate elevation model
Now the contours are extracted. So there are one, two, three, and four lines uh, we have digitized. Now, uh, what happens to the z value elevation? We have not provided it. Now, each contour you can see it is having different vertex. You can see there's so many vertex. So all this vertex is having only x and y information, not z information. So z you have to provide manually. So that is through entering the value through keyboard. So where this z will be stored? So z will be stored as a non-spatial information or attribute information which will be stored. Uh, it will be tagged to the uh, each and every contours. So for that you have to create a new column or new field where you give all the z information. So how to generate a field now? Vector attributes and I'll say here edit column attributes. I'll say new. Then I'll give the name as a z. So it is going to be a integer. There is no negative value. No OK. Now I can see one more column which is added. It's just added to this. So there are so many uh, four contours are there, four contour lines are there. So you have got four records. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Now what is the value of this? This is 80. You can see this is 60 and this is 80. And what about this? This is uh, 80, 100 and this is 120. And this is 100. And this is 120. So then you have to save this. So likewise, uh, you have to uh, digitize each and every contours which are available in the topo sheet. Then you have to give the Z information. So you can extract one contours and uh, same time you can give the z value or you can extract all the contours and finally you can give the z information whichever is convenient for you so ultimately each and every contour should have the z information so this is how uh, this is the method to extract the uh, contours uh, from the uh, topo sheet uh, in the next lesson so I am going to show you how to generate digital elevation model using these contours. Thank you for watching this video.